Did you know? We were trying to find out something that we thought it was a bug in Assetto Corsa Competizione. As you know, we are trying really hard to simulate very advanced traction control systems and ABS systems. Okay, we, Our traction control and ABS systems are not as they were in old simulators where they were just assists of the gameplay. Okay, So a magic hand would stop the tires from spinning and stuff like that. Uh, we're not doing that. We are trying to simulate the traction control uh, to make it intelligent, to understand the yaw of the car, the steering input, the uh, amount of sleep ads, all that stuff, and act accordingly by cutting the engine. Okay, great. Now, we were trying to understand what was happening with those cars because of the initial versions of Assetto Corsa Competizione, uh, the cars would go over step stepped curbs like that, the traction control will try to interfere, and so you have a stepped curb which already creates some vibration into the drivetrain, and we simulate vibration in the drivetrain. The vibration of the drivetrain is the usual stuff that you are changing here, and instead of having like that, now you have something like that, you have this uh, uh, vibration, right? Uh, tremble. Uh, this is all because, you know, tires, uh, drivetrain and engine create an elastic uh, situation and everything vibrates and goes back and forth. Right. Now, vibration was caused because of the curbs. So the tire would go over the stepped curb and create vibrations on the suspension, on the drivetrain, on the engine. Now, the traction control would say, wait a minute, something is happening. Let me, you know, start interfering because I feel sleep ads and vibrations. At some point, you would also ask for a next gear, okay? And what was happening was that um, you, you had already vibrations on the drivetrain, okay? The traction control was interfering, possibly provoking more vibrations from the engine that was cutting and you asked for a next gear, the next gear would get in and provoke even more vibrations. The traction control was going crazy and starting to block everything. And we had that phenomenon where for some meters, the car would be normally at normal revs, but it would keep you know, uh, banking like if it, there was uh, some kind of a limiter. You would on the curb, asking for next gear, next gear engage and the engine would go like pop 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 and it wouldn't go it wouldn't go forward you would stay like you know prisoner of some kind of vibration that would propagate for forever like you know so you had to release the accelerator do something so that all the system would say okay let's do something else and then you were free to go it was nasty it it, it felt completely wrong uh, it felt terrible, and we thought it was a bug. So we were trying to understand why this happens, okay? And what we found out, we found out that actually it wasn't a bug, but it was the actual physics engine simulating a proper serious problem in real life. And we found out that in real life, uh, when this situation happens, uh, the traction control and the dry drain have logic software inside uh, to tell them that, okay, uh, either you cannot call the next gear because it's going to break, and that's something that's not happening here, it's going to possibly damage the drivetrain because of the so big vibrations, all right? Uh, or to eliminate the vibrations, the traction control just for a moment will stop from working. So we implemented that inside our logic and magically, or almost magically, all those problems disappeared. So now when you are asking for a next gear and you're shifting, okay, and you have a gear change, so let's say that the gear change lasts like 60 milliseconds, 50 milliseconds, 60 milliseconds, something like that, the traction control will stop engaging no matter what for 70, 80 milliseconds some extra time, you know. So you ask the gear, 60 milliseconds, the, the, the traction control stops 
uh, engaging. The gear enters, engages the next gear. You start accelerating, and the traction control doesn't engage yet and waits for another 30, 30, 50 milliseconds, depending on the situation, and then starts engaging again if there is reason about it. So all that stuff now happens inside the Seto Corsa as well, because otherwise we had this strange behavior. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's what is uh, happening. And that is one of the situations that can happen here. You know, you have steering input, you are asking for a gear, everything goes berserk. Uh, the traction control says, okay, gear change, so I won't engage, and you get some extra oversteer and you, you kill yourself and you, you're, you know, you're, uh, stay like this, wondering what just ha just happened. I never had problems with that steering, with that uh, with that turn. So now you know. 